actually if not for this infection uh, there wouldn't be any discrimination they face when drugs is setting in sex is also another issue there so all this is related to behavior you know good people don't do such things they deserve they deserve what they get 40 over years until today people haven't come to a better understanding of what hiv is and still stigma discrimination still exists maybe you are involved in this job because, uh, because uh, you also you hiv positive, positive. Maybe your family is some member is infected or whatever. Well, some of my friends, they don't look at me anymore already. They made a face, you know, one, one person. Eee! Why, why do you want to go there? They look crazy. crazy. I said, never mind. Say what you want. I'm Elizabeth Thomas. My age is 72 years old. I live in Penang, actually, in Paya Trubong. I started in the year 2000. When I started, I didn't know anything about HIV AIDS. In fact, I myself used to be very scared of HIV AIDS. As our education program was going on for us, we were also uh, exposed to patients. Uh, one of my first cases was a young couple with a newborn baby and uh, they were both positive. They want to kill the baby and they want to jump into the bridge. So I felt so sad for them. All I did was I just hugged them. So that was my first outreach experience and it really touched me so much because it was dealing with human beings, you know. In the early 2000s, I think HIV was at the highest. And medication was expensive, not free, and a lot of people were dying. And that made me want to stay on and help. Our first office was in Western Garden, you know. It was only a drop-in centre. And every day I had calls, you know, asking, are you, have we got nowhere to stay? Family throwing out patients, you know. I sat down and I said, Lord, I cannot, we cannot go on like this. And so, with her dedicated effort, it first started as Community Aid Service Penang at Bukit Ambar in 2004. The lack of capacity of the shelter home led to the establishment of Mercy Home in 2015. So here, we are only seven years. I'm still struggling. The Ministry of Health is not giving us any funding. Eh? We are not charging. This is totally on charity. But I appeal to the state government. Last year, they gave me 30,000. So this year, another 20,000. We are also self-sufficient in the sense that you can see my garden. To operate this, I would annually I would need about 60,000. Here, capacity is 10 patients, but any one time, I think I will take about four or five lah, because we cannot manage stuffing. Actually, actually now we only three percent staff, you know. One gardener, driver, one assistant, night caregiver, and myself. Well, morning to uh, evening, I'm on my feet, you know. Actually, my day starts about five in the morning. From the moment I'm up until uh, lunchtime, I'm still on my feet because I'm serving lunch for them. After lunch, only I go up and go into the office, do a little bit of my administration work. Because nobody here, I'm the only one there, so just to come down and have a look and then go up again. Then it goes on right up to five o'clock. From Monday to Friday, I stay here. Weekends only I go back. I need the break, otherwise I can't take it. I also got a lot of health issues. December, I had went through a major surgery. I'm still recovering from it. That's why nobody wants to come. First thing they ask, my working hours. I said, I don't look at my working hours at all. I'm not married, huh? single. If you're married, you got your family commitment. Single is important and a heart to want to serve. People, first thing is, how much money will I get? Money is important, yes, but don't focus on the money. Yeah. I heard about her work even before I joined the Malaysian AIDS Council lah, that you know this woman in Penang she run the shelter very well. The people come here, come in wheelchair, but after a few months ah, can walk already because she really monitor the person, you know. That one woman has got a stroke also. I said, no, stroke doesn't mean that you lie in bed all the time. You can walk. Exercise helps you to put you on your feet again. Don't become dependent on others. Become independent. The the patient also tell me what no. I also don't believe in myself. She believes in me. You want to give up is your problem, but I don't want to give up on you like that. Huh? She never changed. You know, like some people after a few years are tired already. No, I'm also 63 already. But I see her. Huh? Wow. Actually, I wanted to become a nun. I entered the Good Shepherd Convent. The nuns who reach out to the uh, children in trouble. So I, I, I like the charism, I like that kind of work. I said I can do better when I come out. So I resigned after three years, I came out. For 10 years I worked under formation for youth. I had a lot of training overseas and all in the Philippines, in India and all these places. That's how I am who I am today. I was with Cancer Society and then from there I, I resigned and I entered AIDS. All in I would say my AIDS work is 22 years. I also do education programs to all groups. 
awareness is important because a lot of people are still under the impression that HIV is very contagious. You know, in my training, you know what they told me? Elizabeth, wear a mask, wear gloves, don't touch. Oh my God. HIV is only spread to three ways, through sex, from mother to baby, and through blood. People who use needles. Not through saliva, not through perspiration, not through tears. Today, with the medication which is gum, Malaysian government is giving free, there is no need for anybody to be sick anymore. Look at my patients, they look very healthy. Because medication is very important. You cannot miss your medication. It's a lifetime until we find a vaccine. You can see the timing there so that nobody skips. Today, you know, with the medication so good, HIV positive couples can have babies. They are normal, they're living normal lives. The virus is in my body, it's not hurting you, right? So why should you want to discriminate me? Education is still the very, very much needed in society today. When uh, visitors come, uh, they want to sit on the chair also. Uh, they scared, you know, you after their virus on the chair, uh, they can go up. They think like that, you know. That is why many HIV people until today still hide their status. Sebelum saya kenal Miss Elizabeth, saya kerja kilar. Very close dengan saya, saya supervisor. Dia tahu saya tak sihat. Lepas saya sihat, dia panggil balik saya kerja. Tapi saya punya working colleague itu tak puas hati dengan saya. Dia takut nak share sebab kami duduk dekat satu rumah sewa. Mandi punya toilet pun dia tak mau share. Walaupun saya dah cure TB, everything, dia tak mau share. So, saya not happy lah. Masa tu lah Miss Elizabeth panggil saya main kerja dekat CSB. Saya on the spot, 24 hours, saya bagi resign letter. Saya pergi dekat Miss Elizabeth. Dia yang bagi will power, empowerment untuk saya. For me, I would say the greatest achievement is when I see my clients who have been sick, very sick, able to stand on their own two feet, maintain their job and live normal lives. And for me, my dream today is my little boy. I'm talking to Monfort Institution where I want to train him skills. At least he's standing on his own two feet. I'll be very happy. Future is I'm praying that one day we'll find mm, the vaccine and uh, there will be no more issue on HIV AIDS. How long do I plan to working on this? Until the day I die, I suppose. <laughs> Until the time God says enough lah. It's about time I want to resign, but I cannot find anybody to take over my place. I don't want this place to close. We're looking for somebody who's got a heart to want to help, to have to be firm, but at the same time, love. It is all around us. Together we must, must fight to end HIV. Jangan uh, pandang rendah orang yang ada HIV. Sebab kami pun boleh bekerja macam biasa, kami pun boleh hidup macam biasa. Understand HIV AIDS. Don't discriminate. Live and let live. Because we are all human beings, we learn how to reach out to one another. HIV does not spread through touching, through living together, to working together. No. I am a testimony to that. I live with these people here. If I'm not infected, take it. You can believe that it does not spread.